this Killisset Harbor Oak Bay restoration project. Uh, it benefits water quality, near shore habitat, and finfish and shellfish stocks, uh, especially salmonid stocks coming out of South Puget Sound and Hood Canal. They have a migration route that uh, enables them to find refugia, forage, and hide from predators in Killisset Harbor. Um, because of the eel, extensive eelgrass beds that line the entire harbor, which is over 2,000 acres. So this being one of the largest restoration projects undertaken in the marine environment for Puget Sound is pretty uh, amazing. Yeah, so it takes a lot of partners to do a project of this size. And of course, Department of Transportation owning the road, they were a critical partner. And the Navy owning a lot of the property was, of course, a critical partner. Um, and the tribes were critical not only in the scientific data that they collected to help us prove the case, but also um, bringing money to the project. The Navy was a really important partner in this project, and this project would not have been possible without the partnership of the Navy because a lot of it takes place on Navy property where we um, needed permission to excavate old tidal channel and to actually build part of this bridge on Navy property. August of 2019 was the groundbreaking for this project. And throughout the course of the summer, fall, winter, and now into this summer, uh, this project's been steadily working and has almost come to completion here. So behind me is the tidal connection that was the main focus of this project and the bridge that allows that to happen. You know, when you say something took nine years, that's pretty incredible. Anytime you get that many partners together working on a project of this magnitude uh, over the course of a decade, it's pretty incredible to, to get this through all the obstacles and the funding issues and all the challenges. One of the unexpected outcomes of the project is the community benefit. And we have seen a tremendous amount of people utilizing the waterway that we have created between Oak Bay and Kelset Harbor. It is truly remarkable to see the water flowing between Oak Bay and Kelset Harbor once again. This restoration project was possible due to the hard work of the North Olympic Salmon Coalition and their many partner organizations. We all share the same vision of restoring this historic waterway that once ran between Indian Island and Maristone Island. Today that vision is a reality the Navy is proud to support the partnership that made it happen. We support this project by participating in site surveys, contributing design input, and we helped the project team secure construction and access easements for the project site on Navy property. Our team helped secure funding for this project through a $1 million mitigation agreement with the tribes. Partnerships like this are vital for the preservation of our beloved region. They also enable us to be good stewards of the environment while balancing our national defense mission. As a reminder, Naval Magazine Indian Island is a restricted access installation. Please remember that our beaches are not open to the public. We hope that you enjoy the restored waterway around the island while respecting our installation boundaries and security requirements.